welcome man welcome back to the channel guys real quick <clears throat> hey real quick y'all see where i'm headed oh y'all recognize that red van right there that's chrysler town and country 2009 ladies and gentlemen that is my van okay my personal van oh this is the one i rent out guys well she called me earlier today boohooing crying jt something is wrong it won't go it won't move um I don't know guys um and that's why i'm here to find out now i highly suspect there's something wrong with the transmission uh you can pretty much gauge transmission as dying a slow death well i don't operate like that guys um uh, transmission don't necessarily die however parts wear out <laughs> okay torque converters wear out which will make a transmission appear or come off as being dead as some people would call it well i here now i did have some fault codes in transmission a while back for things like um two four pressure switch uh solenoid pack type codes okay uh, i have to i can show y'all the codes when i pull up the screen but for now i have to get this thing to the shop so I can proceed with fixing it. Oh, guys, y'all know the old traditional way of checking out transmission. First thing you really want to do, verify the fluid. However, uh, you guessed it, guys. No dipstick. Now, but the unique thing about this one, guys, a 6.2 TE, by the way. A six-speed automatic transmission. The unique thing about this one and all 62 TEs, they at least gave you -da, a dipstick, too. Okay, so yes, with a dipstick tube, you can check the fluid. You, personally, on the other hand, will have to get a dipstick. Car don't come equipped with a dipstick. But, I am in a dire situation right now. Alright, so, what do you do, guys, when you're faced with this? Uh, you use something that appears to look like a dipstick. It doesn't have to be a transmission dipstick. Remember, you're in emergency mode right now. I'm about to take this car to the shop, however... I cannot or I refuse to drive it if it has absolutely zero in it. Know why? Because I wouldn't make it to the shop. So, right. Y'all get where I'm going here? So, I need to find out if there is some fluid in here. Some is better than absolutely nothing. With some, again, I can drive to the shop. All right. Now, there's no dipstick. You don't have no dipstick, too. What do you do? You result to hackery, trickery, hacks. Okay. Grab whatever. You got a coat hanger. Grab a coat hanger. In this case, da -da, I have a oil dipstick too. All right. So, guys, let me go. I need a rag. So, let me take a break right quick. I'm going to go grab a rag out of the trunk. When I get back, uh, I can kill two birds in one stone, guys. Show y'all how to hack, check this. And, yeah, we'll just go from now. Let me take a break real quick. I got to find a rag. Stay tuned. Don't go anywhere. I will be right back. All right, guys, welcome back. What I'm, My goal here, guys, again, to just merely verify if there's something in here. Now, yes, you should have it running, but I want to see if anything registered on the stick. I, I have my oil dipstick all the way in the transmission tube. Ladies and gentlemen, yes, there is fluid in it. Let me smell it. Yes, it has a semi very not really burnt so i don't think it was overheated i personally think uh the valve body a valve body or solenoid pack is what i'm trying to say uh the valves inside the solenoid pack uh not operating anymore guys this van has two hundred and thirty thousand miles i want to say i don't want to guess i'm gonna find out because i'm curious my damn so i used to uber this van to death to was that 265 yeah so uh, you don't necessarily need a complete unit, guys. Now, if you want to, like, if I want to do this right, I would take the transmission out and replace the torque converter and do a complete overhaul on all the clutches, all right? But I'm merely interested in getting her back on the road, all right? She used this as a uh, get to work. Uh, she got to get to work, okay? So, now, I have just verified there's some fluid in it. Now, I am finna go through the task of 
hauling this thing off to the shop. Not haul, not tow truck, drive it. All right, so. There you have it, guys. Uh, I tell y'all what, man, let me, uh, I need to swap cars. I'm gonna leave my PT Cruiser right here. And I need to take this. If I have a, I'm gonna pull up some codes. I'm gonna go through that with y'all and show y'all what I need. Um, then I'm gonna proceed. I'm gonna try to get. I don't know what she uses this for. It's really. I mean, it's my personal van. But when you rent somebody something, you technically releasing. Like I can't get pissed off because I see normal things that people accumulate in cars. So no, I'm not angry, guys. This is a old model van that was just sitting up rotting okay somebody you got any cars i need to i need a car i got a van i rent you so we proceeded we're doing that so instead of van just parked rotting i can make money with the van right it's called residual income guys there's nothing like it okay nothing like residual income i have i am just solely the owner of this van okay she have insurance on it she have car insurance on it and she drive it every day so all i do is sit back and collect the revenue remember it was just parked chilling okay uh yeah just riding away so i figure i can make some money off of it now rent it to her i can't give it to her or let her have it free because that would be counterproductive of my hustle mentality right so and she's a good girl cool girl she just the benefits of this to her is when there's a problem she get to call me just imagine if this was her car if this was her car and she called me with transmission problem it's simple you need a transmission okay yeah customers i have to operate a totally different way i'm going to fix this with as minimum parts as possible because this is my personal van i'm highly against this guys if you're dealing with customers paying customers do not go this route <laughs> okay uh it may come off as appearing reckless it may even be reckless but my goal is to get her back on the road with no transmission problem i personally think i can pull that off with as minimum parts as possible and i'm gonna go through that procedure with you guys all right all right let me get this thing to the shop guys stay tuned y'all don't go anywhere i'll be right back all right guys as you can see i made it in the shop uh it wasn't that bad um all right so what i'm gonna do is uh i'm gonna scan two down here we're going to a computer guys we're gonna look at some codes see what we got going on uh might be the same thing that i pulled up last time let's go to here this is my 09 chrysler town and country i got falcos galore i'm already aware of this um i think this was a cat code let me take a look yes okay all of the codes out here remember guys this car has no separate tcm so the transmission control functions will be in the pcm as uh as well as your transmission trouble codes Okay, I'm on the DTC uh, throttle issue. Okay, that could be misled from these. Uh, the reason, okay, look at all these codes, guys. All of these are relating to 4P0755. This is definitely uh, like solenoid pack area. Now, this solenoid pack is attached to the valve body, guys. DC direct clutch solenoid circuit, low clutch pressure switch rationality direct clutch hydraulic pressure test and i'm aware of i need a cat guys uh cat converters are expensive on this model i just haven't gotten around to it yet and i figured this out but my main issue is get the car going uh get it shifting okay so she can get back on the road now so basically guys yes i'm a big fan of uh diagnostic okay don't get me wrong but I want you to understand something. Uh, I said this before, I'll say it again, this is my personal car. Okay, so there are gonna be some things uh, I'm gonna do that I highly recommend you not do. So one would think, well JT, why record it and show us? Uh, because some guys may wanna see it, I don't know, may wanna watch it, but it's no big deal. Like this code here, this is a P076A, possible cause a lot of people go straight to that yes this could possibly be the tip them however i doubt it because i actually have transmission uh, i have internal transmission issue based off the fluid and as well as the code uh, short the ground short the voltage solenoid pressure switch assembly that's my problem right there guys or it could possibly be the pcm 
But uh, now, again, this may come off as looking reckless, so I really want to be careful what I say. But I'm gonna say this: I'm going to, I'm going for, uh, I'm going to put in a solenoid pack. All right. Um, basically, like I say, the pack is attached to the valve body. So now, what I also gonna do that I'm not, not a big fan of, or I don't agree that you do this, uh, especially if this is a customer car. This is mine. Uh, I, I don't want to spend any money, guys. <laughs> That's just the honest truth. Uh, I have a tra let's let's take this for example. I replaced this transmission for leaking. There's absolutely nothing wrong with the solenoid pack on this vehicle. It's going to the crusher. It's going to the uh, scrap yard. It's going in the back of my truck to the scrap yard. So JT can essentially save some money by grabbing a solenoid pack off here. All right. This is the solenoid pack slash valve body connection. So I got to remove this pan. And maybe the lower pan just to get the solenoid pack off. All right, that's what I'm going for, guys. I don't want to spend any money. I have fluid laying around here and I have a part. Yes, the part is off of a used unit, but you got to do what you got to do in order to. This is my car. Okay, I just want to stress that, guys. Uh, so, you know, I won't get dogged out. I can't believe you did. This is my personal car. I'm going to get it back running, shifting, and everything. So, guys, I'm out of time on this video. So, what I'm going to do. Get this thing up in the air and start prepping it in order to replace the solenoid pack on this transmission. So I'm going to have to fire up another video. All right, so that's all I have on this one. We just went through some diagnostic. It wasn't even diagnostic. I won't even call it that. I just talked. We'll call this a vlog, guys. Y'all just heard me discussing what I'm about to do. How about that? All right, that's all I have. Thanks for watching. Come and subscribe. I'll see y'all in the next video.